Jacoby, how satisfying is it when it all kind of comes together like that and you guys play complimentary football? Yeah, uh, I mean, great team win uh, in all three phases. Uh, you know, that's, that's what we've been, uh, like, stressing, you know, like, hey, listen, like, we got a lot of time left, you know, and, and just find a way to just play one good play after one good play after one good play in all three phases. And I think today we, we really did that, uh, play very complimentary. Uh, um, yeah, and I think, I think the emotions in the locker room after the game was um, warranted. So does this make you feel like everything you wanted is still out there? Oh, for sure. Uh, uh, another division win, which is huge, uh, you know, and, and uh, obviously um, that puts everything in front of us still. You know, and we understood the, the ramifications of this game and and uh, what we needed to do uh, and what this meant for us. So, um, you know, extremely proud of the guys in the locker room. The coaches um, did a really good job of, of preparing and, and um, you know, really focusing in on the task at hand. Jacoby, when you have when the pass game's working, the run game's working like it was tonight, what's it like there knowing that you have them on their heels most of the game? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that was just – our, our mindset, you know, we, we really needed to get back to playing our style of football. And that's, uh, you know, running and throwing it on our terms, uh, running our plays on our terms. Um, you know, it was, it was a couple checks in the game that, you know, we didn't, want, we didn't want to run that play versus certain looks, so we got to different calls. And I think I thought Kev did a good job of, of, of preparing us and AVP and, and, and all our guys of, of letting us know, like, hey, like, this is what our plan is as far as the whole, great, the whole game uh, mindset. And I think we executed that well tonight. What did you uh, see or feel on that touchdown scramble? Nobody was around me. And then I felt somebody around me. So I was like, I need to run fast. And, um, you know, I thought about the Chargers game and, and when I threw the pick. And, um, you know, I, I was been beating myself up about that a lot uh, just because that's, that, that's just been like sitting on my heart. Uh, and I always told myself, if I ever get that opportunity again, I'm going to make the right decision. And, um, I think I half made the right decision. I reached the ball out on second down, which was stupid. But uh, it was one of those where I was just like, man, I got to take it. And, and uh, yeah. It seemed like you had to look around to see if it was a touchdown. Did you know? Oh, no, for sure. I touched the pylon. I was good. Yeah, I knew. Jacoby, can you, just, is, can you sum up just the, you know, how much fun that actually was? The crowd, the lights, the thriller, you know, just everything. Uh, I mean, it's always fun going to play in the NFL, honestly. Like, you know, the, the wins and the losses, is, it's always a lot of fun um, because that's life, you know, uh, wins and losses in life, and you just find a way to get back up. Uh, I was on the sideline, and I was thinking, you know what I mean? Like, like we've, we've fallen how much? Like four or five times in a row, and it's just like, you know what? You got to find a way to get back up. And um, I think that's the, the Brown style of football, you know? You, you get knocked down, you just get back up. You get knocked down again, you just get back up. And, and uh, I think that was like really what this game summed up. It's just like, like you give us a chance and we're going to take it. So many people are out there are wondering, like, where has this been all season? Did you feel like a resolve from all the guys to like? Uh, I mean, uh, listen, everybody wants, you know, the perfect thing from the start, you know, and some things take time. Uh, everything in life good takes time. Uh, we, we've got a saying, you know, everything um, that we want is on the other side of hard. And, and you got to go through things for, for you to cherish things like this, like a, a day like tonight. Um, you know, coach was talking about how do we want to feel at 11.15. You know, we got in the locker room at 11.14, and that was the feeling that we wanted, you know. Uh, and, and, and that's when you just – you don't worry about the past. You just worry about the present moment. You worry about the guys in the locker room, the coaches, and how can you come together and, and you know, nobody's giving us a chance, you know. Um, and, and that's okay, you know. It's, it's perfectly fine. And, you got to find it, find a way to, to get the guys to understand. Like, hey, it only takes one. It only it all starts with one. And um, I think the guys did a really good job of that today. Jacoby, how energized did you guys get on offense when the defense played like it did tonight? Oh, they played lights out. Um, you know, and we've 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 been understanding and knowing that one of these days we're gonna come. Um, they got a lot of good players on that team. Good coach, uh, good coaches. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, it's it's. It takes time. Uh, it takes time. It's, it's, it just sucks in this league that not a lot of people get a lot of time. But you understand uh, when you're in the locker room and when you're with players and you with coaches and with humans that, hey, like everybody has learning curves and every year is different. Um, so I think we did a good job of, of, of just like, hey, today's the only day we got. And um, today was one of those days for those guys. And I'm very excited and proud of those guys, what they did.
Seems okay. like Miles Garrett set the tone for the game a little bit, where, you know, even before the game and heading into the game, I'm talking about Miles, he sort of set the tone and then came out and he got, he got the tip, he got sack, and he just, it seemed like it was contagious. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's one of those guys that I was talking about that we feed off of. Uh, you know, I mean, he, he obviously is a tone setter for us. We expect him to set the tone for us. Uh, and I think, I mean, he'll come up and tell you, like, you know, he fed off a lot of those other guys. You know, we, we were, um, it wasn't a lot of places for him to throw the ball tonight. And that was because of the back end, but also because of the front end. Our backers were making the right checks and safeties were making the right checks. And, um, you know, it's, it's a combination of, of, of like, a, a great team effort uh, in every facet of the game. They hadn't given up a touchdown the whole second half all year. So that first possession of the second half, did you guys feel that was like a breakthrough of the night? Oh, uh, for sure. I mean, once we got three at the end of the, the first half, you know, we, we've always preached, you know, double dipping. And, um, you know, we, we understood if we scored, I think that would put it at a three possession game at the time. And, um, you know, we understood how, how uh, important that was. And, you know, we, we came out with a with a plan and then we just lined up and we're like, you know what, this is what we're doing. And, um, you know, Kev did a good job of, of putting us in the right uh, right position. And, and um, yeah, and I think it was one of those days where we we, we imposed our will. And um, I think that touchdown really was a very critical moment for us. I know Mark mentioned that, uh, you know, you talked about that uh, interception in the, in the Chargers game. Did that actually flash through your mind as you're running the ball? There? Oh, for sure. Um, <laughs> You know, that's how, I mean, honestly, that's how slow, like, uh, I feel like the game is kind of turning because of, of me being so present in the game and and, um, and really enjoying the moment that I can honestly think of things like that. Um, it's not like I'm, like, saying I have, like, a psychic, like, <laughs> vision. But um, once I was scrambling, I saw 30, like, watching my eyes. I saw Bates watching my eyes, and I was like, you know what? Like, not again, you know? And, and uh, it was either going to be a throwaway or... You know, I was going to go for it, and then he scooted a little bit inside more, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to try. How did you know Amari was going to run by that double team on that 53 yard? Because it was Amari. Uh, it was – Dobbs came back to the sideline when I came back over. He was like – it was one of those Amari's down there somewhere, you know. And uh, and I saw him slow down, and I was like, no, I'm throwing it, you know. And um, it was third down, and we know that, hey, in and in the kick, but I tried to throw it out further enough that if he didn't get it, nobody got it. And uh, he obviously made a great play uh, and, and going to chase it down. Just in general, how, how well did Amari play today in general for you? Uh, played really well. And I honestly think that receiver room really helped each other out a lot. Uh, you know, coming to the, to the sideline and, and uh, being uh, very transparent in what we were getting out there, what type of defense they were playing to us. And, and um, I think everybody touched the ball tonight. And, um, uh, I think those guys did a really good job. Obviously, Amari kind of is our tone setter as far as in that room. But I mean, Donovan made a great, a great catch on the first drive that we we uh, we went. Uh, so he, he obviously Amari played really well. Uh, but definitely proud of that room. Have you seen him throw better passes than that one? <laughs> He's coming to school with me tomorrow. Hey, we, that play not in no more. I'm just letting you know that. <laughs> Do you tell him I'm throwing the ball from now? Yeah, yeah. We we luckily he can run routes, and that's what we'll we'll. We'll do that. It looks like you took some big hits. Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, fine. You guys talked about emptying the tank heading in, into your bye week. It looks like you guys really all pulled together and did that. Is that right? Yeah, and um, and that's the mindset you take. Uh, you got to start taking every week, you know, uh, because nothing is promised. And every week is so special, and, and you got to cherish those moments. And we definitely told each other, listen, like, we got nothing next week. Literally nothing. <laughs> literally empty everything that you have, you know? And, and uh, I think a lot of guys stepped up. You know, obviously we had a lot of guys down and a lot of guys on defense came up, you know, AJ Green setting the tone and, and Todd playing well and, and, and you know, and Debo's first game uh, starting. I think those guys just did a great job of stepping up and, and taking full advantage of this moment and this opportunity. Very happy for those guys. And, um, you know, hopefully we, we carry this on.